Okay, now that we've removed uh, both the screen and the glass, I'll show you how to put that back in. So once again, all we're going to do is actually do this all in reverse. But that piece of glass is going to go up into the corner. Back part of the window here. Back on the track, the bottom piece of the track, the top piece of the track has a bit of a thicker edge and it's that thicker edge that actually clips underneath the frame here. So that thicker edge needs to be lined up. You can slide it till it hits the other piece that there's another piece up that runs up in there. And then actually you're just gonna use your fingers, the edge of your fingers to snap that in. You can hear the clicking sound. Once that thing is snapped in, once it's all snapped in, that track will then stay tight and your window will actually slide again. Then you can put your plug back in the back here again. And for the screen, we'll do exactly the same thing. Again, bottom of the window screen down here. This screen is a little bit tighter, but it'll... Going up into the top, we'll squeeze it in, push the screen forward. Okay, once the screen is actually in and slides forward, then you can actually put the rear piece of track in. This piece isn't always necessary, but it's important to prevent this from rattling when it's on the water. If your window wide open, you can slide that piece of track with, again, the thick end, the thick end at the top which is going to clip into the frame and this goes up inside of it kind of have to shift it up and in and then just hear the click push that in with your fingertips put your plug back in 